A weighted aggregate price index does not treat prices of different items equally, not like the unweighted aggregate price index. A higher weight is given to the items that are sold in higher quantities, but there is no unique way to determine the weights as they depend on the period in which the quantities are evaluated. One option is to evaluate the changing quantities over the years to derive the weighted average. However, in many applications, the quantity in information is not readily available, and we have to rely on its evaluation in a single time period. Two popular choices for weights are based on the quantities evaluated in the base period and in the current period. Now let us see the most popular formula to calculate the weighted aggregate index. The first is Las Pears Price Index, where it uses the base period quantity as the weight. Here we say, here we see that uh, it uses the base quantity QI0 as the weight. And we have here that PIT represent the price and quantity of item I in period T, and PIO and QI0 represent the price and quantity of item I in the base period, where T equals to zero. And the second is POSH index. POSH index uses the current quantity as the weight, uh, which is uh, shown here by QIN, where and as a note, T equals to N, thus only use current quantities. PIT and QIT represent the price and quantity of item I in period T. And the same with uh, last pairs, PI0 and QI0 is the price and quantity in the base year. Since the choice of weights for the two methods are different, the last pairs and the posh index differ for the period under evaluation. Now let us see the calculation of Las Pears Price Index. Here we have average price of properties sold in Florida, and it is uh, it is classified into condominium, single family, and multifamily uh, properties. And if we want to calculate the price index of 2008, and the base year is 2007, thus we use the quantity in 2007 as the weight and uh, we note on the price in 2008. Plug in the numbers, we have the price in 2008 are this and the quantity in the base year are this. And another information that we, we will use is price in the base year. So we plug all the numbers and we get the result as 69.897. This result shows that the price of properties in Florida has decreased 30.11% in 2008 compared to the base year of 2007. Now let's see calculating the price index using POSH formula. We remember that POSH formula using use the current quantity as the weight. So if we want to calculate uh, the price index in 2008, we use uh, the quantity of 2008 as the base and price in 2008 and price in 2007 as the base year. Uh, we just plug the numbers and the result is 71.98, meaning that the price of property based on posh price index calculation has decreased lower uh, compared to the last pairs. Remember, in last pairs, we got 30.11% decrease, but based on Posh Price Index, the decrease is uh, lower, 28.02%. We have discussed about the formula for Posh and last pairs price index. Now, for you to find on your own, what are the advantages and disadvantages between last pairs and Posh Index? Please find out and read on your own. And as a final note, still relating with the index number, is changing the base year. The base year used in calculation of statistical indices are updated regularly. For example, BPS has changed its base year, which previously was 
2012, and now the base year is 2018. Change in base year is done due to some factor, such as change in consumer's behavior or change in products available in market, like new products entering or exiting the market. It is fairly simple to revise the base period of an index. We basically transform the index of the newly chosen base period as 100 and values in other periods are adjusted by the same proportion or by formula. What you do is if you want to change an index of a specific year, uh, we put it as uh, the one and the numerator and the denominator is just the old index uh, value which has become as the new base. Uh, to make it more clear, let's see the example here. Here we have price index for gasoline using base year of 2000. And then we want to convert um, the base year from 2000 becoming 2005. Let's say uh, we want to update the index number of 2006, 171.52. So the price index based on 2000 and based on the base year of 2000 for 2006 is 171.62. But if we want to show it as the new index, if the base year of uh, with the base year is 2005, meaning that 2005, uh, the price index, which was before 152.32, it will become 100. So what we do to change to update the price index to 2006 is we just write 171.52 divided by the new price index, the old index of the new base year, which is 152.32. So the updated index for 2006 is shown in this table. It is 112.61 and you can uh, exercise by calculating the new price index for other years you will have you should have the value as shown as on the second row of this table see you you, you can see here that 2005 has changed into 100. we have come to the end of the first video you may now proceed to the next video which will discuss about inflation and real value see you